finally going to get to show you the Walker snowblower in action. Now I've got another video showing the Walker snowblower attaching it and detaching it, but I got a ton of comments about seeing this thing actually blowing snow. So let's take a look at what this thing can do and what's good and what's not so good. Now right away you're going to say, man, that's not even a lot of snow. What are you using a machine like this for? Well, that's correct, but this is what we got this time. And because I'm only a few miles from the coast, a lot of our snow is very wet. This machine does a really good job cleaning right down to the pavement. Now this is an asphalt driveway and it's fairly modern. It's about five years old since it's been resurfaced, so it's pretty flat. But you can adjust this thing to get down to this close or a little bit higher or even more if you've got a gravel driveway. But this thing really throws some snow pretty far. And I'm going to cut to a shot of my John Deere tractor that I had a few years ago. And that machine just did not throw the snow this far. I like the fact that I'm able to shoot this snow pretty far away. A big plus here is the maneuverability. I've never had a zero turn snowblower before, but just like the mowing part of this machine, this thing really is easy to maneuver and that's a lot different than when you have a tractor or a larger machine. This thing can spin around and you really save a lot of time being able to maneuver so easily. And even though this is sped up, you can really see what a good job this thing is doing getting right down to the pavement. And here is how you adjust the chute. It's all manual and you do have to lean forward a little bit, but it's pretty easy to do. You can take note too of how wet this snow is. This is really a very slushy snow. So even though it's only a few inches, this stuff is really nasty. And a big plus is you can see how fast I'm going. This is not sped up here. I mean, you really can drive this machine quick. So everything was going great until right up to here. Now I am going up a hill and I'm pushing it, but you can see that the snow wasn't going in the machine very well. And then this happened. Everything froze in that chute completely solid. Now every snowfall is different, so I can't just say that the Walker snowblower is terrible, but I think part of it is a design defect. And it's this guard right here. These little forks can catch on snow, and if you've got a really wet snow like I've got, they built up enough that I think that this guard was making the chute clog. So it's your decision on your own machine, but for me, I cut this guard right off and I pulled it out of there. So now I'm back in business, I'm blowing snow. One trick I learned about this machine is if you go too slow, the snow tends to get pushed along. Sometimes if I started to build snow up, I'd back it up and I'd ram it a little bit into the snow. Not super hard, but enough to give it a little bit of a push, and then you can see how far that snow was shooting out. This machine's big advantage is speed, maneuverability, and the fact it can blow that snow so far, which is really good if you're in tight quarters. But as I found, everything was not perfect. The issue with the chute clog and I really did not like at all. Here's the biggest negative I found on this machine that was really a surprise. If you look where those knobs are on the tilt chute, see that ice and snow blowing out? Well, it's not that bad right there, but when this chute was turned to the right 90 degrees, the stream that was coming out of that hole fires directly in your face and it's like getting a stream of ice water. And it got so bad at one point that I had to shut the machine off and then try to put my glove over it. It was a real mess and that just shouldn't exist on a machine like this, especially where now I'm gonna have to come up with my own fix to cover it up. So this wraps up the review. It is a good machine and I do love the walker as a lawnmower especially, so it's nice to get this extra use. I don't like the annoyances, but I'm still gonna keep it for now. Thanks for watching.